action. Good morning, Leslie. Thank you so much for taking over the Christmas pageant at the last minute. I know Kelly is heartbroken that she has to miss the dress rehearsal. There's just one little problem. What's that? Apparently, Kelly had the only key to the to the costume closet, so we don't get have costumes for the dress rehearsal. No costumes. We just have to work with what we have. Okay, what do we have? Mostly wings and halos. Yeah, and I see we have a sheep. Just so don't worry, we're collecting bathrobes and things for tomorrow. In the meantime, I asked all the kids who weren't angels just to wear their Halloween costumes. You did what? Come on in, kids. Alrighty, so I guess we'll just run through the Christmas pageant. And if we need to make changes along the way, we will. Places, everybody. God help us. Long ago, in the small desert town of Nazareth, in the country of Judea, lived a young woman named Mary. One day, an angel appeared to Mary. The angel said, I can't do this. That is not what Mary looks like. Well, in fairness, the Bible doesn't tell us what Mary looks like. But the Bible does tell us who Mary is, right? So God chose Mary to give birth to his only son, Jesus. Something everyone thought was impossible. Something that saved the world. So in a way, Mary is like a superhero. The angel said to Mary, Greetings, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. You shall have a child and shall name him Jesus. He will be great and reign over God's people forever, and his kingdom will have no end. Now, Mary was engaged to a man named Joseph. Where is our Joseph? Okay, we need a Joseph. I do it. You don't look like a Joseph. Well, Joseph was someone who showed up when Mary needed him, right? And... You're dressed as someone we can count on to help? Cool, you're in. Joseph didn't know what to think when Mary told him about the baby. But then, the angel appeared to Joseph and said, Meanwhile, in a very different part of Judea, King Herod received an unexpected visit. I couldn't find a costume. It's fine. I want a costume! Okay, so Herod was the villain of the Christmas story. He was jealous of Jesus and wanted to have all the power. So he did a lot of evil things. But he stole a child of God. There's probably still good in him somewhere. Anyone have a costume like that? Yes, cool. Keep going. So the Magi were scholars, priests, kings, very wise. They studied the stars like scientists. And the Bible doesn't say there were three of them, just that they gave three gifts. So is anybody dressed as someone wise, maybe studies a lot, or is from a royal family? No? Okay, that's fine. Uh, you, you and you can be the Magi. The Magi knew the prophecy. A child born in Judea would become the new king of the Jews. Herod also knew the prophecy and was very upset. Herod wanted to be the only king. Go and find the child and then tell me and then come back here and tell me where he is. Because I want to destroy him. I mean, worship him. Worship. Yeah. Is someone want to be the star? Do you want to be the star? I can give directions and also dance and sing. 
Why not? You're the star. Go shine. Right, right, and left. Right, right, and left. Right, right, and left. Right, right, and left. When Mary was almost ready to have her baby, she and Joseph had to travel to Bethlehem. Mary rode on a donkey. How about a giant dog? Sure. Anyone who is dressed as an animal, get up there. When they arrived, there were no rooms at the inn, so Mary and Joseph had to stay in the stable. Raise your hand if you're not an angel. You are now a shepherd. Go watch your flock by night. Meanwhile, in the nearby hills, there were shepherds keeping watch over their flocks by night. Suddenly, an angel appeared to them, saying, Do not be afraid. I bring good news. Today in Bethlehem, a Savior has been born. He is the Messiah. Go and look for a baby in the manger. Then a whole host of angels appeared, singing and praising God. The shepherds hurried into town and found baby Jesus in a manger, just like the angel said. Let us worship him! The star settled over Bethlehem, and a little while later, the Magi arrived from the east. And everyone knew that this child was truly the Son of God. Wait, stop. Put your Halloween costumes away. I have robes for everybody. But a robe is more authentic. I mean, is it? It's really hard to imagine the first Christmas. No one knew the story yet. I mean, think about it. Angels appeared to shepherds, kings found to peasants, there was a baby in a feeding trough. Everything must have seemed really strange and mixed up. Maybe even as strange as Darth Vader, Spider-Man, and a dragon performing a Christmas pageant. Well, Jesus said the good news is meant for, ev for everyone and got all those people together on that first Christmas for a, a reason. Just like God brought you here uh, today. I mean, I didn't really have other plans. Forget the robes. The joy of Christmas is for all people. No matter who we are, no matter what we look like, God gave us this mixed up world and we rejoice in it. The shepherds went and spread the good news across the land. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. The Magi were warned in a dream not to trust Herod, so they went back a different way. This way, guys! This way, guys! This way, guys! As we know, the angel's prophecy came true. Jesus did come as a baby, to save us all. He was fully human, fully God. And every Christmas, we celebrate his first day on Earth, when everything changed forever.